Hi folks, this is the third of a number of videos on the cycles of the outer planets and the awakening that they create when they make aspects of their original position. And today I'm looking at the alchemist, Uranus, the change bringer. Most people think of alchemy as a kind of weird pseudo-science that's steeped in mysticism and occultia, involving people with long pointed hoods and mysterious white powders and we're all trying to make gold out of lead. And those who slightly delve into it a bit more come up with this notion that permeates a number of old secret societies, this notion of the Philosopher's Stone. It is only those who actually take a long time, long time, and persevere with this that realise that true alchemy is about nothing like this. True alchemy is the blending of consciousness and intent and the creating of manifest energies in a way that previously would not be possible. Borderline magic, but the idea of magicians, occultists, alchemists gathering together and forming cabals is ludicrous because all of the practitioners that I know work in solitude. It's the only way. Uranus recommends this. Uranus brings change. It brings it brings disruption and chaos and drama and it pulls the rug from underneath your feet, but only in the cases where there is a degree of rigidity and inflexibility. Instead, Uranus I much prefer as the alchemist, the stimulant, the novel, the approach to the future that embraces innovation and novelty and, and independence and freedom. All of these words fit with Uranus. Uranus has a regular orbit. It is 84 years, give or take a few months. And those of you who saw my last video on Neptune will know that this is exactly half of Neptune's orbital speed. If you wish to put this in a geometrical form, for those of you who can work with pattern, draw a circle, put a square around the circle, and then draw another circle touching the four corners of the square. You've got those two circles are the orbits of Uranus and Neptune. Pretty damn precise, 99% plus. There's a lot more like this out there. Uranus with its 84 year orbit makes difficult angles to, to itself or challenging aspects to itself every 21 years. It is seven years, almost, almost to the month in each sign. So every 21 years, it squares or opposes itself. At 21 years old, this is the astrological symbolic representation of um, the breaking free of family, the leaving of the home, the forging into the world as an individual. At 42 years old, the Uranus half return, then this is the sense of, OK, I've done the training, know what I want to do, let's make it happen. At 63 years old, the Uranus third square, it is when people generally are seen as going, right, I've done this, this is what I've done, right, let's now reap the rewards and the benefits. And at 84 years old, the Uranus conjunction is when you go, right, done it, anything else is a bonus. It does, now, Uranus is not quite so uh, perfect in its orbit as Neptune. There are variations, which is why many people get the Uranus half return early, 40 years old. Some get it late, as late as 43 years old. But generally it balances out at 41, 42 years old and the Uranus return is always at 84 years old, as is the Neptune half return. The Pluto square is also between 38 and 42 years old. So it's increasingly looking as if 32, 38 to 42 years old is the time of transition from training, practice, into do, properly becoming an effective and efficient human being. Uranus is also the planet most commonly associated with the immediacy of the moment and the sudden changes of time. And it does suggest that uh, the late 30s, early 40s is a time of internal evolution or re-evolution in a way that then makes you feel much more potent instead of latent. Uranus, change bringer. Catch you later.